So Anki have just released a new version of Anki 2.1.46 and in this video I'll be showing you the new features in this Anki upgrade to show you whether it's worth upgrading or not. I'll be talking about the add-on compatibility as well and if you do want to upgrade, how to upgrade and if there are any problems, how to downgrade. So if I go into about Anki, you can see here I'm in version 2.1.46 which is the latest version right now and if you want to download the latest version you just go onto the Anki website. All the links I'll talk about today I'll put them down in the description below scroll over here and as you can see 2.1.46 you can download it here in this video i'll be showing you five new features that i've noticed so far starting off with the options for doing a deck now if you normally go into the settings toggle and click on options you now see this new interface when you want to change the options of your deck if you remember before these options are basically in separate tabs you essentially have the same kind of options but they're laid out in a much more easy to look at way all in one page instead of having it in separate tabs like you did before. For example, if I want to go over and change the maximum reviews, I can just type this here or I can just use this toggle up and down button here. You'll also notice that there's eye symbols next to each thing. So if you're unsure what it does, then you've also got a little guide about what each thing does. So that makes it a lot more user friendly and a lot more easier to understand what each of the functions do. So if I increase the number of cards here and click save, as you can see, I've now got two extra cards due today. Before we only used to have two columns, one for the new and for the learning and due combined whereas now you've got your learning and your due cards separated into two different columns if i actually go and study the cards itself there's not much of a change there is a change in the actual scheduler meaning there's a slight change in what each of the buttons do so if i press again hard good you know there's a slight change in the algorithm and things if you want to learn more about what new changes there are in the scheduler then you can you know kind of read it here I'll link to that down below as well. Essentially, it's got a new scheduler version 3, which is supposed to be better than the old scheduler version 2. The way you actually do your cards remains the same with the same, again, hard, good and easy buttons. This heat map showing me how many cards I've got, how long my streak is and stuff is a separate add-on. I'll be talking about add-on compatibility in a minute, but that's just a separate add-on called review heat map. While doing the cards has not changed, what has changed is the editor. So if I'm doing a card and I want to edit it, I press the button E. You notice that this looks slightly different. Firstly, we have our field and cards button here. I think they were kind of down below somewhere here before. And you can also see these buttons to change your formatting options have kind of been uh, boxed off in nice neat rectangles, whereas they were on the right hand side and they were just a little bit messy before. So this looks a lot neater now. You can still do the things you used to be able to do with the fields button here, the cards button if you want to change the template, so if you want to change the script and so on and so forth. And this down here is actually a separate add-on which lets me quickly toggle between different tags. One thing that actually has changed on how you add tags is before I'd have to type, you know, the entire thing, I'd have to type Y-E-A-R to get this psych deck. However now, if I just type P-S-Y, you've got that search a bit more intuitive it immediately comes up with year five psych rather than me having to type YEA and then choose accordingly. So that actually makes adding new cards a lot, lot quicker. The other thing that's different is if I click on stats, you'll see that it kind of looks different. I mean, I hardly use my stats anyway, so literally maybe I should use that more, but it does look different that I've noticed. And what's great now is I can actually click on these bars here. So for example, if I click on this first bar, it will show me the cards that I do on that particular day. So if I wanted to just quickly review ahead, I can just, you know, scroll through these and review it before the cards actually come up that day, which I don't really know if I'm going to use, but that's a handy feature to have. Okay, so the next thing that's changed is the browse window. You'll see here the first obvious change is all these things in the sidebar here. Before you'd have to use basically extra add-ons to get the features that you now get built into the Anki version itself. For example, if I wanted to look at flags and I wanted to see just the orange highlighted flags, I can quickly do that from the sidebar. As you can see, your decks are now categorized neatly as well. And even your tags, hierarchical tags are now built into Anki by default. So for example, before I used to have to download a tag called hierarchical tags to nest tags under year five, for example. Now that feature is built into Anki itself. For example, if I just type year five, two colons and CPP, that will automatically nest itself into the main year five tag and into the CPP tag. And I can easily just right click and rename 
tags like this. If I go here, you'll see that all of the cards are updated with that new name. Now you notice here as well, there's a little toggle button, which is new. If you press that, essentially what it does is it now shows you can toggle between your cards and your notes. So what that means is say, for example, here, I've got this, um, I've got two separate cards arising from one note. So this is only one topic. So as you can see, two closes on here they appear as two tags however they you know they're the same topic so they're from one note so if I toggle this you see that now that extra card disappears and you're only shown that one note in which those two cards belong so as you can see here I've only got 991 notes but if I toggle this I've got 1062 cards so if you want to see you know how many concepts you have or how many actual cards you have you can easily toggle between those two to see now what's also new in the sidebar is if I click this little select button here I can actually move tags into another thing so for example let's say if I wanted to move the CPP tag into year four instead I can just drag and drop it here and you'll see that the CPP PP now went into year four and so now if I actually click it it changed the tag names for all of the cards for me and it moved all of those cards into that particular tag I don't actually want to do that so I'm going to move that back but that's a cool feature to be able to move cards and tags and you can even do that with decks as well so it makes your Anki cards organization a lot better now another feature I want to show you is if you go into cards and click set due date for a particular card you can now choose how many cards you want to see, how many days you want to see that card in if you want to see that card earlier than it was meant to be due you can just select a number of days for example if I type three to seven it will show me that card in you know between three and seven days before I'd have to use a add-on called rememorize in order to do the same function but this is now built into Anki itself by default with a new update comes add-on that may not be compatible so in the case of the add-ons that I have these are the add-ons that I've had to disable because they've not been compatible yet with this current version if you go over to reddit or this Anki add-on forum there's also other incompatible add-ons that people have mentioned and whether people have updated it or not then that information will all be there I'll link those things down in the description as well so you might want to check before you actually upgrade to this new version whether your add-on works or not because some of these add-ons might be a deal breaker for you they weren't for me I mean pop-up dictionary although it says it works no longer works for me properly if I click command shift D to bring up pop-up dictionary it doesn't really work but that's not really a deal breaker for me in order to upgrade to the new version what's great is that I think these updates apply to the new Anki mobile version as well I haven't really tried it out but it does have a sim more similar interface to the mobile version so maybe that's something that I don't know you can let me in the down in the comments below know but essentially if you do want to upgrade you can just download the latest version by going to the website again I'll put all these links down below these are the other changes which I haven't mentioned as well so you know some minor changes I've only talked about the major ones that I kind of see and use and that are probably relevant for you as well but if you want to see all the, all the latest changes you know from what whatever version you're upgrading you can also see every single one here and now the thing is if you have a major incompatibility you know most of your add-ons or your favorite add-ons don't work then you can easily just downgrade it in order to do that you just have to click on file switch profile and then click downgrade and quit and then that way you can replace your Anki version with the old version that you want to go back to. So that's basically all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope it was useful and I hope you give the new version of Anki a try. It is really an amazing software considering you know that it's free and considering that I've made a couple of videos on it you can see that I'm kind of an advocate for it although I don't get paid anything for saying this. So I hope you give it a try. Let me know if you've already upgraded what you think of the new update down below in the description. If you're new to my channel my name's Abian. I'm a medical student studying in London. I've also got an email newsletter where I share some of my ideas. It's kind of sporadic and I haven't written it in a long time but if you are interested then feel free to check that out in the description below as well. With that being said thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you again in my next video.